silly bear and a turkey feather. Got you on the other end, Bonnie? You see, I do. You see, I pop it. my YouTube people. Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Hope you're having a great day. It's starting to really warm up here in Colorado. But as you can see, we're going to do an outside video. Now, I need to get my bushes planted. These are the bushes I'm talking about. I got them in one of our trips. And I stuck them in water just to see what they do. And they are rooting out extremely nicely. So it's time to build them a planter. I'm going to build them a 15 by 11 by 1 15 foot planter. I'm going to build them out of fence plank, fence planks. I'm, I got the untreated ones because they were like two bucks cheaper. And uh, so you're going to see me sealing them and put them together. It's not a how to, it's a little bit here and there of putting together these planters so and then we'll end this video when I bring the pups out and we'll have fun with the pups but for now let's get building a 15 foot planter for these really nice privacy hedge bushes is what they're going to become because they grow over six feet tall and they grow extremely fast so you see all the new growth on these ones they need to be put in the ground so let's do that today. So I got all the boards for the new 15 foot planter completely sealed because I did buy, these were um, about six foot or seven foot fence planks, fence panel planks. Now I could have bought the already sealed ones, but these were like two bucks cheaper. So I just went with them and it's just a clear gloss sealant because I want to keep the natural grain, the natural everything of it. I just needed to seal it so it doesn't warp in the winter. So I got those planks done. I've got all of these ones sealed. Every single end piece, extra pieces. You just watched me 
seal the last two. So we're going to let them sit here overnight for at least 24 hours. Hopefully they dry before the rain comes. And then tomorrow we'll start putting this together. Now I won't show you a whole lot. I'll show you bits and pieces. As I said before, show you just bits and pieces. But I'll definitely show you the finished product. Either way, you'll see the finished product and what plants I'm going to put in them. The boards are all nice and dry now. They sat outside overnight just to make sure they'd be dry and the, the sealer would be dry and so I could finish this. Luckily it didn't rain yesterday. But they are all numbered so I know which ones go where. So let's, let's put this together. Now I'm going to shoot it together with some nails with the nail gun first and I'm going to go back through and put screws in just to make sure it doesn't fall apart. The nails are just there to hold it in place. But I'm not going to show you everything putting it together. I'm just going to bring you back here and there. But uh, so let's get this put together and the new plants in the ground. So here we go. Well, got one side put completely together all the way down. It's 15 feet long as I said before. Had to cut some little little anti-wiggles right here. That's what those are for. I just cut those just to keep these from moving when I go to flip them. Because this is technically the inside of the planter. So now I have one more side to fit together and then we'll start building the end pieces which are sitting right there. So let me put the other side together. We'll start putting on the ends. Got both side pieces done. Now it's time to do end caps. As you saw, I did put some screws in the middle pieces. Not these. These don't need screws because these are just stabilizers to keep it from separating while I move it. But I did put some screws in the, the joint pieces. And then I'm going to put some screws on the ends. So let me slap the ends on. And I'll show you before I move it. This is a... 15 foot long planter. It's 15 by 11 by 1. 1 foot wide, 11 inches tall, 15 long. So I'm going to put the end caps on real quick. I'll show you before I move it because then I have to figure out how to level it because where it's going is slightly on a hill. So I have to level it just a little bit, not by much. And then I can start planting. Put all my nicely rooted plants in here and hopefully they'll take off. So let me put the ends on real quick. I got it all together. Yes, it is bottomless. That's on purpose. I don't want to put a bottom on it because I want these bushes to have the best chance possible 
it, it's a whole thing. It's, it's a bottomless planter. It's more like a raised bed type thing. So that way they won't get hit by the weed whacker or the lawnmower and just put some good soil mixed with some of our compost in here and give these bushes that I've been rooting out for a bit the best chance possible of taking off and making a great privacy hedge. So got that all together. Those boards right there, those are just stabilizers for when we move it because it's 15 feet long and I didn't want them to bow and flex as we're moving it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go get help to move it because it's too long and I'm not gonna drag it. I did screw both end pieces on, so we're all ready to go. Just have to get it over there, level it out, and then we can start putting some plants in it. So I'm gonna do that, get some help, level it out, and then uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough topsoil. But I don't know, we'll figure that out in a minute. But for now, let's go get it in place. we go we got those ones planted we got this planter in place this is a 15 by 11 by 1 1 foot wide 11 inches high 15 foot long planter for these new privacy hedges now unfortunately I was only able to plant that much because I need a lot more dirt and more plants I do have my other container of plants right there so I'm just gonna make sure those stay in water the next time I go on one of our trips to the mountains, which if you ever want to see our trips to the mountains, check out my Friday videos and my Sunday videos. But I'm going to pick up some more plants, more trimmings, get those going, water the shiznit out of these. But there we go, 15 foot planter for our privacy hedge. Cross your fingers, they all take off. But for now, let's go in the back and end this video with the pups. Oh, there's Daisy. There's Daisy. And Lil Honey and her daughter, huh? Oh, your daughter's gonna get your butt. Where'd my bear go? Where's my bear? Where's my bear? Get some my bear. Get some my bear. What do you think, Baba? Shall we end this video? Here? Over here next to the pumpkins? Yeah, we got pretty good looking pumpkins as long as the hail will leave them alone. There they are! Gonna end this video with the pups, huh? Outside, huh? It's super toasty, huh, kids? It's trying to keep y'all in frame. You wiggle too much. Yeah, you wiggle too much. So, gonna end this video. Thanks for watching. Just what to do. Don't forget to whack my like thingy. And subscribe. Design. Can't make a video without having the pop-ups in it. Where's Bubba? Where's Big Bear? Come here, Big Bear. Come here, Big Bear. Come back, Big Bear. There he goes. But he says I won't run and play. Huh. 
yeah, hope you enjoyed watching me make this uh, 15 foot planter for our privacy hedge. Huh. Yeah. Gonna need a lot more dirt to fill it in, but that's okay. And more bushes. We'll pick those up in one of our trip videos. So, if you want to see what the Colorado Mountains look like, you might want to check out my Friday videos. We have adventures. The latest one was up on top of Cottonwood Pass. So yeah. Gotta come in frame, honey. We can't see your cute face. Big Bear ditched us again. Yeah, Big Bear. Big Bear. Let's see if we can get him back over here and then end this video for sure. Where's Big Bear? Big Bear, Big Bear. Where's my Big Bubba? There he comes. Here he comes. Come here, Bubba. What you find? Come here, Bear. Bear, 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 Bear. Come here. No. There he is. Yeah, what you watching? Come here, bear. You wiggle too much. So, again, whack my like thingy. Check out my Friday videos. They're of the Colorado Mountains. They want to see your face, not your butt. I have a couple new series. We're playing bait or no bait at the lake right now. We're using different types of things as bait. You'll have to see what we use and if they work to catch a trout. And I'm also starting a new series called uh, Wild Harvest with Just What I Do. We'll go out, wa harvest some some wild herbs and plants and, and whatnot, and I'll show you what to do with them and what good they are. Yeah. So you might want to subscribe and whack my like thingy. And we lost Bear again, but that's okay. We got a sweet honey bunny. Yeah. Is that silly bunny? Is that silly bunny? Where's your brother? Big Bear! Where's the Big Bear? Big Bear, Big Bear! Here he comes again! Okay. Tell everybody to subscribe to catch more of my cute face. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Don't forget to whack my like thingy, and we'll see you later. Right? Come on. Later, Tanners! <laughs>